Hi everyone, before moving on with this video, I want to clarify a point. So in one of the previous videos, we said that in an NFA, we don't need transitions from a state on all input symbols. So I might have a state Q1 from where I have no transition on zero. And the reason that's actually allowed is if you remember our transition function delta, for DFA, we defined it as being from Q cross sigma to Q. And what this means is that the result of uh, this function has to be a state. But in case of an NFA, we said that delta will be from Q cross sigma union epsilon to the power set of Q. And the power set of Q is also going to contain phi, the empty set, as a subset. So when we don't draw a transition in an NFA, it's uh, going to take that as a transition to phi. And a lot of times there might be uh, books or tools that tools like JFLAP, which actually say that even in a DFA, you are allowed to have a state with no transition on some input character. But that's not actually a true DFA. If we want a true DFA which fits this definition, then we need uh, exactly one transition from every state on every input symbol. So in this video, we'll be looking at this exact case when there is no state that we can go to in an NFA. So uh, we'll see what happens in that case. Let's get rid of this first. So consider the language which says that all binary strings starting with 0, 1. So the regular expression would be 0, 1 followed by a 0 plus 1 star. This is my regular expression. So if I want to draw the NFA for this, I'm going to say I have a state Q0 which goes to a state Q1 on 0. And Q1 goes to Q2 on a 1. So this goes to Q2, which is a final state and Q2 just loops to itself on a zero or a one. And this is my start state right here, Q0. So let's try drawing the transition table for uh, converting this to a DFA. Uh, so let's just write the input symbols here. And these are my DFA states, DFA states right here. So the first thing I have is Q0 itself and Q0 on 0 goes to Q1 but on 1 Q0 doesn't go anywhere so I don't know what to put here. Let's just keep this blank for now and the next state I have is Q1. So Q1 this time I don't know where it goes on a 0 and on a 1 it goes to Q2. So now Q2 is the state that I need to write in my transition table next because it has come here. So I write Q2 and Q2 just loops to itself on a 0 and a 1. So I write Q2 here and here. So now we have these two blank spaces, which is uh, one is right here, right here. And the second is right here. So what do I fill in here? And the way to do this is to actually create a new state which we call as the trap state or the dead state. So I write a T here and a T here as well. And the reason it's called a trap state or a dead state is because from the trap state, there is no way that the string is going to go back to the rest of the automaton. There's no way uh, the string is going to go to an accepting a final state. So we just need a trap state transition here. So I write T here and because there is no way from the trap state to go back to the rest of the automaton, it the trap state just loops to itself on a zero as well as a one. And if I had more characters in my alphabet, the trap state would just keep looping on to itself uh, on all the input characters. So let's go ahead and draw the DFA for this. So I have four states. I have Q0 right here, which is my start state. And one thing I forgot again is to mark the final state here. So my Q2 is the only final state and this is my start state right here. So now I have 
four states here which is q0 i have a q1 i have my final state which is q2 and i have the trap state so i have the trap state right here and i can directly just draw a self loop on the trap state on all inputs which is 0 and 1 and now let's look at the rest of the transitions so from q0 i go to q1 on 0 and i go to uh, the trap state on 1 so i go here on a 0 and i go here on a 1 and from q1 i go to the trap state on 0 and q2 on 1 so this is on 0 and this is on 1 and from q2 i just loop to q2 on 0 as well as 1 so this is the dfa that i've drawn let's test this out on a couple of strings so uh, let's try the string 0 1 0 0 1 we know this is uh, since this starts with a 0 1 it's going to be accepted so initially I'm in my state uh, q0 from there on a 0 I go to q1 from there on a 1 I consume this one right here and go to q2 and then for the rest of these three I'm just going to stay at q2 so because I'm uh, at the end at Q2, this is an accepted string in my language. And let's try another one with which is not accepted. So let's say we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Uh, because this doesn't start with a 0, 1, it's not going to be accepted. So I'm initially in the state Q0. From here on 0, I go to Q1. From Q1, I encounter this zero right here and I just go to the trap state. From there, I'm going to stay in the trap state forever. So this string is not going to be accepted in my language. So that's about the trap state. And once again, remember, where do I need the trap state? I just need the trap state when I have absolutely no uh, states that I can go to. So let's just assume that instead of this Q1 right here, I had a Q0, Q1. So if that was the state in my DFA, which was a combination of Q0 and Q1, I wouldn't have the trap state here because from Q0, Q1 on 0, I'm going to go to Q1 and on 1, I'm going to go to Q2. So only if all my states here don't have a transition on a particular input symbol, only then do I need the trap state. So that's it about the trap state and this concludes our uh, intuitive understanding of conversion of DFAs to NFAs. I'll see you next time.